What is going on guys? So today I want to talk about one of the most important mods that you can do to one of your cars, whether it's a Coyote car, a Cobra, um, a Turdzilla, literally. Um, but this is so important. So as you guys know, or may not know, we put a UPR catch can on Ashley's car a long time ago. Um, a catch can is very important. It helps you sift out all that oil um, that's running through the PCV system and prevents it from going back in your intake manifold or in our case, a supercharger. So. I'm going to show you, it has been a while since we have emptied it, probably too long in Ashley's car, so I'm going to show you guys, no bullshit, I'm literally going to slap my GoPro on, walk over to the car here, and empty out the oil that's in there. Last time we did this, there was a lot of oil, um, so we have a UPR catch can on this, um, we're not paid to say this or show this, but um, UPR is a great company that has been awesome to us, we have their full suspension on Turdzilla, and let's go ahead and see the results for ourselves, it's been quite a while though, so it's going to be pretty bad, so let's go hop over to the GoPro and see what it looks like. So, drain bucket over here. Yeah, still a mess. Let's unlock this. This is a mess currently, but go ahead and see the beautiful Whipple. And as you can see right here, our PCV hose runs from there over to here. Um, so we got some quick disconnects that we can do right here. So there is one and two. And now I can loosen the bracket here, pull this up, pull this catch can right out. It looks like there's a washer right here on the top. On this car we also have the CFM uh, breather, um, which does also help relieve uh, crankcase pressure. Um, that's what that is right there. And let's just go ahead and pull this out, undo this sensor wire all right so this is a pretty big one and we got to do our drain cap on the bottom then oh yeah there's there's definitely oil in there so let's go see find the right tool there we go But where could my half inch ratchet be? All right. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, not that bad, but yes, definitely a lot of oil there. It's not even really very watery. I know a lot of people will say like sometimes it's watery from you know condensation. That's what most of it is, but that is a lot of just straight oil, and it prevents all of that from going in your PCB system. So we're just gonna kind of shake this out and then put our drain cap back on put it back in the car and let it do its work all right tighten her up nothing too crazy and put this right back in here
here it is. Put that in. Put our washer on. And the quick release knob. Tighten it down. Plug AC back in. And our top hose. And we have now successfully emptied it. Oil is out over there. Put our tools back. Alright, so I think it's pretty clear as to why having a catch can on a setup like this is so important. And that prevented all of that PCB blow by from going into the supercharger. Also works the same way on a naturally aspirated setup, so it keeps everything clean inside and running pretty good. All right, and just like that, we have drained the catch can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of just a quick tech tip, um, but if you want to check out the UPR catch cans, they have them for all different applications, uh, supercharger or naturally aspirated. I think it's an important mod to have on your car. It prevents all that stuff from going in through the engine, and eventually that can lead to some power robbing uh, type symptoms um, because it's going to kind of clog up things and. Um, kind of slow down your airflow as it comes inside. Uh, so um, definitely go check them out. So there will be a link into the description. They have the full kit, bolts right on. Um, super, super easy. Um, we also run a PCV um, breather. That's from PCV Breathers um, CFM. And if you want to check that out, uh, there will be a link in the description. I also have a coupon code uh, that CFM gave me um, because they really like the video that I did on the Cobra. So if you want to check that out, it's also down there in the description. I hope you guys really enjoyed just a quick tech tip update. Um, as for this car, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things really soon. And it starts with some boxes over there. I don't know if you got to see a quite a glimpse. It involves those boxes over there. It also involves this guy. And I am really excited. And of course, you know, Ashley cannot stand the Cobra being faster than her for a very long. So we are going to see how that plays out. As always, make sure you slap the like button down below. It's probably going to be a bunch of comments about this bad girl. Um, really just trying to get a rear end. I was trying to get a stock rear end so we could bring it to Mustang week, but unfortunately that didn't work out. Um, still want to do a built rear end rather than a stock rear end, but I do miss driving the car around quite a bit. So I'm not sure, Yukon stuff is still in pieces. I just haven't really felt like taking it apart um, because technically I think we can send the Yukon stuff back, um, but I don't really want replacement Yukon stuff. So I'm not really too sure what to do on this bad girl. Probably after Mustang week, we'll figure out something. Um, try to do an Eaton True Track differential on it and get her rolling again. So slap the like button, hit the alert bell. Um, it'll alert you on the new uploads that we do. And we'll see you guys in the next one.